What's up guys? Welcome to another video by Into Fly Fishing. In this video, we're taking a look at this right here, the Sage Spectrum LT Fly Reel. Let's get into it. So first of all, I have to tell you guys that Sage did send me this reel for review and testing, but in no way does that affect my opinion of the reel. As always at Into Fly Fishing, we're completely honest about all of our fly fishing gear reviews, whether we buy the gear for ourselves or it's sent to us from the manufacturers. And it's no different with this Sage Spectrum LT fly reel. So with that out of the way, let's get into this review. So first, let's talk about the build quality and construction of the Sage Spectrum LT fly reel. The Spectrum LT replaces the old 4200 series of reels from Sage and currently sits in their lineup as one step above the Spectrum Max and two steps above their Spectrum C, which we've also reviewed here on the channel. The Spectrum LT is Sage's best multi-purpose reel offering, built with their highest quality components and for a wide range of fishing applications from tiny brook trout to massive tarpon. Unlike other Spectrums in the lineup, the LT is built with aerospace grade, fully machined 6061 T6 aluminum bar stock that's cold forged and tempered for increased strength and durability. I'm not an engineer, so I really don't know all the nerdy stuff that goes into building a reel, but I do know that this reel feels significantly sturdier than the C and the Max, and it's lighter as well. I was testing the 4.5 weight model for this review, but I messed around with this reel in different ways. The 4.5 weight reel has a diameter of 3 and a quarter inches and an overall weight of 4.25 ounces. The smallest LT in the range, the 3.4, weighs about 3.88 ounces, while the largest, the 9.10 weight, is still pretty light at 7.1 ounces. So next up, let's talk a little bit more about the drag system on the Sage Spectrum LT fly reel. One thing I love about the Spectrum LT is this big drag knob and it's a one turn drag knob, Sage calls it. So you can really have it on all the way off basically with no tension and it comes right out of the reel super easily for setting up your rod. And in one turn or maybe one and a quarter turns, you can have it at max drag. And at that point, you can barely get this out of the reel. And that's way more than you'd need for this four weight version of the reel, but as Sage steps up every one of these reel weights you get even more pulling power from the drag and the drag overall is super smooth there's basically no startup inertia when you're pulling the line out or when you're fighting fish and they strip the line out of your reel it's worth noting here that when i tested the spectrum c on this channel it also had hardly any startup inertia but after a few years of fishing it it feels a little bit more clunky now it'll be interesting to see how this higher quality drag system of the lt will stand the test of time in comparison to the c but overall it just feels like a great drag really smooth and it also has a really great sound something that not a lot of anglers care about but i love the sound of a good reel it's not quite as loud as some of those traditional sages that used to get 20 years ago but it has a really nice sound to it the lt also has an improved drag system over the previous generations with higher grade u.s made carbon and forged componentry to ensure a smooth dissipation of kinetic and thermal energy so that the reel performs smoothly even when fish are tearing out your line and trying to smoke the gears the reel handle itself is comfortable and ergonomic, and the entire reel is hard anodized and coated for surface protection and chip and corrosion resistance. So I also have the Sage Spectrum C, which is Sage's cheaper version of this reel. And right away out of the box when I took this LT out, I could tell it was a higher quality reel. It's machined aluminum. It's very light in hand, especially compared to the Spectrum C. And it just feels and looks like a really sexy reel. You can tell you're stepping it up a notch. It's a couple hundred bucks more than the Spectrum C, but I'd say you're getting a much better reel for that price. And you can really just feel the quality as soon as you get it in your hand. And I love how light it is. You could pair this up on a four weight uh, with a four weight reel, or you could overweight this reel with a three weight rod and it would still feel great because the reel is super, super light. So the Spectrum LT does come in a few different colors. Mine is the silver version of the reel, which I think is the sexiest, but they also have a stealth, which is basically just jet black, a black spruce, which is a black frame with kind of a chromatic green spool, silver pine, that's a cool looking darker gray color. And lastly, there's a morel variation. That's just a darker gray spool with a gold or bronze kind of frame. Next up, let's talk about the warranty of the Sage Spectrum LT. While some of Sage's higher end rods offer a no fault warranty, this isn't the case with their reels or their lower end rods. For the Spectrum LT and all of Sage's fly reels, the warranty is limited to repair and replacement of the reel, but does not cover direct, indirect, consequential, incidental, or any other type of damage resulting from the use of the product. Meaning if you break it, you buy it. 
I'm not crazy about this stance on the warranty by Sage, but it is what it is. Hopefully you won't have to utilize the warranty, and if you do, I hope that Sage is lenient with what they consider to be a manufacturer's defect. Next up, let's talk about the price of the Sage Spectrum LT fly reel. I mentioned that the LT is more expensive than the Spectrum C, so let's get into the price a little bit more. Um, depending on what weight you go for, the Sage Spectrum LT is gonna run you between $400 and $425, with the lighter weights coming in at the cheaper end of the Spectrum, and the heavier weights, like the 7.8 and the 9.10, costing that extra $25. Overall, I think that this is a great price for an American-made reel by a reputable brand like Sage. Lastly, as always on our reviews on this channel, I want to talk about my overall thoughts and opinions about the Sage Spectrum LT fly reel. To me, this reel falls somewhere in the middle of the range of reels in terms of build quality, componentry, and warranty. While it's one of Sage's top of the line reel offerings, there are some arguably better but more expensive reels built by brands like Ross, Lampson, and Hardy, but I think that Sage has a great competitor in the sub $500 reel market here. The sealed drag and a high quality build components give the LT a competitive advantage when it comes to versatility, especially considering that you only have to pay an extra $25 to step up to their larger saltwater weights. I'd say that this isn't the reel for someone who's just getting into fly fishing, mainly because it has a pretty hefty price tag, but if you're an experienced angler and you're looking to upgrade your current reel, or if you're a Sage lover and you want to upgrade from the Sage Spectrum C, I'd say that this reel is definitely worth the money and the upgrade. So that's it. That's our review of the Sage Spectrum LT fly reel. As always, there are links in the description down below. So if you want to purchase this fly reel, we do appreciate it if you use our affiliate links because it really helps us support this channel. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified next time we come out with gear lists, gear reviews like this one, fly tying and fly fishing tutorials. Until next time, tight lines.